Hola, bonjour, namaste, konnichiwa, hi, hello. Today, we are going to discuss unit operation in agricultural and biosystem processing. Objectives. At the end of this discussion, you will be able to learn the concept, determine and understand the importance of unit operation in AB processing. Application. Determine the application of the unit operations in AB processing. What is unit, unit operation? operation? In AB processing, unit operation is a process which is performed to maintain or improve the quality or to change the form or characteristic of an agricultural product. The main purpose of unit operation in AB processing is to minimize the qualitative and quantitative deterioration of the material after harvest. Here are some classification of unit operations. We have heat transfer, mass transfer, fluid flow, mixing, size adjustment, and separation. First, let's discuss heat transfer. But before that, let's define first what is heat. Heat is a thermal energy transferred between two systems at different temperature that come in contact. Heat transfer is determined by the exchange of heat between a given product and its surrounding medium. Heat is transferred in three modes. First, we have conduction. Conduction is a process of transmission of heat in solids without the actual movement of the particles. Second, we have convection. It is a process of transmission of heat in fluids such as liquid and gases with the actual movement of particles. Lastly, we have radiation. Radiation is a process of transmission of heat without any medium. The importance of heating. Heating is employed to eradicate microorganisms, to produce a healthy food, extend the shelf life of a product, and to promote the product with an acceptable taste, odor, and appearance. Next is mass transfer. Mass transfer is a group of unit operation for separating the components of mixtures based on the transfer of material from one homogeneous space to another. The diagram shows the process of mass transfer, which vapor change into liquid as it enters into the system, and some of it escapes as vapor. The application of mass transfer in the following AB process unit operation, such as distillation, gas absorption, crystallization, membrane processes, evaporation, and drying. Further understand the use of mass transfer in AB processes, Let's discuss it one by one. First is distillation. It is used to separate a component of a mixture on the basis of different volatility. One example of the application of distillation is distillation of fermented product produces distilled beverage with a high alcohol content or separates out other fermentation product of commercial value which is commonly used in wine. Next is gas absorption. It is a unit operation in which a gas component of a mixture is absorbed in liquid using single or multi-stage absorption equipment. Gas absorption is also known as scrubbing. Typical example of a gas absorption is the removal of ammonia from a mixture of ammonia and the air using water as a solvent. Third is crystallization. It is a solid liquid operation used to separate a solute from its solution in the form of crystals. An example of this is the crystallization of water to form ice cubes and snow. Next is evaporation. It is a unit operation commonly employed to remove water from dilute liquid foods to obtain concentrated liquid products. A typical example of the evaporation process is the manufacture of tomato paste. Usually, around 35% to 37% total solids obtained by evaporating water from tomato juice, which has initial concentration of 5% to 6% total solids. Next is membrane process. It is used in separating chemical components based on a molecular size under a specific pressure. 
Membranes are not only used for filtration, extraction, and distillation. It can be also applied for gas storage in biogas plants. Next is drying. A method of food preservation that removes enough moisture from the food so bacteria, yeast, and mold cannot grow. One application for drying is for cereals and oil seeds are dried after harvest to the moisture content that allow microbial stability during storage. Next is fluid flow. Fluid flow is the process of transporting liquids and foods such as AB and food products through pipes using gravity or pumps. Gravity causes the flow of fluid from higher to lower elevations. A fluid moving to a lower elevation undergoes a decrease in its potential energy while its kinetic energy increases. Pump produces the pressure required to move the liquid. To avoid sinking, product must be denser than water. Fourth is mixing. Mixing is a unit operation in which a uniform mixture is obtained from two or more components by dispersion, one within the other. It, it is necessary to ensure consistency in a raw materials or intermediate product before final production. The goals of mixing include efficient heat transfer or uniform ingredient incorporation. Next is size adjustments. It is the process of reducing bigger solid pieces of food into smaller one of desired size and shape. This may include slicing, dicing, cutting, grinding, etc. Lastly, separation. Separations usually aim to remove specific components in order to increase the added value of the products. In AB processing, it involves the separation and recovery of targeted product components from a complex mixture of compounds. This may involve separating a solid from solid, for example, peeling of potatoes, separating a solid from a liquid, for example, filtration, or separating from liquid to liquid, for example, evaporation.